The Institute for Maturing Spirituality at the Martin de Porres Center offers programming in the areas of spirituality and holistic wellness designed especially for adults in the second half of life. The public is invited to attend Institute programs at the Center as they are being webcast through the Internet to subscribing audiences all over the country. Each program involves a 30-minute presentation, small group discussion at each site, and an opportunity for Q&A with the presenter. And when I talk about healing, I'm not just talking about healing physical stuff. I'm talk talking about emotional and psychological. I'm talking about relational things, and I'm certainly talking about spiritual things as well. We need healing in every realm of our life. So the first, for the first time, we've got a clear understanding of what this thing called healing is and having a healing plan. We can connect healing with the power then of the Almighty, with the divine. And for the first time, we can combine the finest that the medical community has to offer, which is considerable, and the best psychological and spiritual care, because this is a psycho-spiritual kind of thing here. Separation pain is experienced very intensely. Feelings can overwhelm you. You may think, I've never had a lot of feelings. But my, my, when someone you love dies, the feelings just come out. What are they? Many times, anger, guilt, helplessness, anxiety, jealousy, sadness, felt in many, many forms. So feelings are very, very important. We need to say, I'm angry, or I feel sad. A 75-year-old man hears a voice, and the voice tells him one day to leave his family and community and to go to a place that he will be shown. And in return, the voice promises that the man will have countless progeny and the blessing of high esteem. Now, folks, if this story were told about someone living in our own time, how would we respond? Think about that. I dare to say that we live in a culture that defines reality as only that which is empirically verifiable. And so it's a safe bet that most, if not all of us, would deem the man as crazy or demented or both. I think dreaming is like having hope in God. Dreaming is like faith. Can't see it, but you put time in developing the dream, just like you build your faith. You know that your dreams are based on wanting the best for yourself, and like faith, you have to wait for what it is that you have faith in to manifest but you know it's coming. Faith doesn't have an age limit, and neither does dreaming good for yourself. 